So we have looked at how to create future class in the last video, which we have it here now. Now we're going to just remove it. And this video we're going to look at categorizing these features. Now, inside this department, we can also categorize. We have URP only as what we've created inside environmental design. So what we want to do here, we want to categorize some of this. So you right click on the future class and go to properties. So on properties now you go back to fill because we didn't do anything in the last video. So now, here now we are going to want to, uh, as the name of the student goes down, if you write your name now, which class are you? So we want to categorize that class without having to, you know, do it haphazardly. Alright, so we want to categorize the class. So we're going to write class or level anyone so let's go with level so we're going to be categorizing the level now to do that you have to come and choose here into short integer whatever you want to categorize you choose short integer so now let's see um, what else can we add what else can we add pending uh, okay let's go just with this first on the level and then we click apply yes why is it saying oh I think I had a space there that's why it's saying it's invalid hmm. okay let's leave it as it says all right let's leave it as level underscore now once you've done that, you click on OK, you come back, you right click on it and go to properties. Then this time around you go to subtypes and then you click on subtype field, you change it to levels. So we're going to say one, one, two, three four five then we have seven eight and nine for PhD okay so we have seven eight and nine so now under the description we are going to have 100 100 200 300 400 500 since there's no 600 we have 700 p postgraduate diploma 800 is masters and 900 for phd so that when we write your name instead of us saying we will type 900 we just click and select now we can also turn this into a domain which this is just like a semi domain but this we will work on it on another video how to make it selectable here this one you have to you also select this one but it's more like you're digitizing it on this but when it comes to domain it's just like a drop down button so i will have a video to show how to do this domain so basically once we are done typing like this we click on ok now if we bring this one out now you're going to see categories 100 to 900 so we've been able to categorize still on those fields that we will still need in terms of level after we've written name uh, we still need to like okay okay let's start editing so that you see some of these practical steps so if I bring out the attributes now now if I digitize anything here that's before you will see anything on attributes 
if I come to this create future now this is what I'm basically going to see all right this is what I'm basically going to see now it's when I've done a clicking let's say I want to do 100 level I click then I it's record that this hundred level then that's when it will open up for me to go and say okay this hundred level this is his name to get but I think the best thing that can solve this issue is a domain so I'm going to do a video on domain because domain is more like drop down button so I'm going to do a video on domain so that you get to see but basically this is how to categorize future but I'm only relating it more with department faculty uh, the school the faculty and department that's why i'm using this that looks more like an abstract example anyway so i'll see you in the next video and so that we will continue on the course